Right, Operation Feckless Ocelot, let's roll. Let's do it! Coming up on Friendly VIP. Hmm. All non-aggressive enemies are surprised. First unit through, guaranteed to land their shot. Uh, who don't want that? Probably patchwork. All non-aggressive enemies are surprised. You see five, you see five. Zephyr will hollow scan. Gremlin heals all allies at their breach point for two HP. Push it. Okay, cool. Patchwork doesn't have a breach ability to use. Opening a side door. Grenade out. All right, what do we have here? Dominator. Aggressive Legionnaire. Ruptured. Ruptured means extra damage. Awesome. Aggressive Python. Hollow targeted. And uh, just a hitman. I think we go for the extra damage on the Legionnaire. Damn. Minimum damage again. damage want to I have to hit him actually it's tempting to hit the adder but no let's go python and then finish off the python no the python's gonna get to shoot unless this one shots it which it doesn't because fearless advance only does damage after they've got to shoot the maybe that wasn't worth it i probably should have used that on the dominator Missed. Good. I think it's worth bringing in mind that the breach attack does three damage, whereas her regular run in and punch does five. That's the VIP. You are going for the hostage. rescue. Okay, the Dominator is the biggest ball bag in the whole fucking. Okay, so we are gonna team up with Zephyr. We're gonna move closer and shoot. Good damage. Now, can I put myself there. I want to see whether that will actually allow me to... Is it going to work against the faceless... Faceless's attack? Is lockdown going to work? Also lets us grab the VIP, which is good. Evac the hostage and squad member. So here's the hostage. Has to get up here. Shit, it's a dangerous position for the... P to be in. Ah, oh, only one move. I thought I might be able to get him to. Hmm. No, Patrick, don't evac. You're gonna keep fighting. Terminals, your turn next going on okay there we go okay so hitman goes next then patchwork i can't kill or disable that hitman this turn and he has a flank on patchwork let's give the defense to patchwork Take the shot. 66, why not? Charging. 
Target weapon in sight. Nice, missed. Good. The watch is fine. Then, see, it would have been nice to have been able to jolt the faceless Jackie because then when it, when it attacks Jackie Zephyr, Jackie Zephyr's counter attack damage. I think it would have been enough to kill it. I don't know that you did. Miss, thank goodness. It was in cover at least. So lockdown missed, but now parry. Okay, four damage. That sucks, but it's not that bad. Ninety-four percent hit the other. Go on. No minimum damage. comes reinforcement we're just gonna keep moving and running towards evac and there's a hitman ball bag get to go again so if i get out of there at least if has huge mobility so there is that bonus damage from lockdown nice But I should probably disable. Ceasefire. Free, that's fine. Friendly, who cares? Then attack someone upstairs. I'm going to parry. Then on the next turn, we can just run away. When is it the VIP's turn? Okay, he's up there. Right, that's not too bad. This legionnaire. Okay, so it's the trooper next disarmed. The adder who can run up and bite someone. Legionnaire. That legionnaire could do some real damage. He can do up to six points of damage, and we've got five on the hostage. What if he runs up and shoots the hostage? Can't have that. But and then next turn we get out with the with terminal, I mean. Or do I just get out now? Just get out now. Yeah, Patchwork should be able to take a shot and then she can get out. Chain jolt. If red fog is actually active, I hope so. That's a paladin. Good. The concern is if it was a dominator, it could have been mind controlled the hostage. Runs down there for some reason. Shoots Claymore's cover. Faceless, can the faceless jump up here? Because you have to use the stairs. Don't you fucking dare crit and kill him. Most because of the defense that we put on the hostage. Now don't tell me the hostage can be seen by the paladin and then killed. has to reload just keep running people uh, I technically I could punch but there's no point in that just get out oof 
I think we done it. Only lightly wounded. So another thing that's important to note is the fact that Zephyr got down to one hit point, I think, which would have made her gravely wounded, but we healed her up. And then she ended the mission as only lightly wounded, so that's important. Only one captured enemy, but that doesn't matter. That mission was rough. I'm just glad we got through it. From the archives, if you go nowhere else during your time in City 31, do take time to visit Highland Square. With convenient access to both local and regional travel, the square is the best that City 31's revitalized industry has to offer. New products, locally made. Come preview what the global economy could be. Talk is completed, glad handing, good. A laser sight, put on the shotgun. Phoenix is abducting aliens with highly technical skills. Engineers, scientists, and technicians. Put an end to the abduction so these people can return to their families. Certainly well. Okay, so we haven't actually gotten more. Two promotions. Hell yes. And I'm part of the reason you lost your world. I was an architect of the invasion, as much as a slave to the elders can build anything. But I broke your world. You didn't know how to fight back, to think for yourselves. Well, you better start. That's pretty cool. Or someone else will do it for you. And who will you blame this time? Huh? I'm Floyd Tesseract, and I'm here to show you why you should have believed. So already I can see what we're going to do. You pick a target, you throw a shrapnel bomb behind them, you then throw a sticky grenade, so if they run towards the shrapnel bomb, the sticky grenade goes off, and so does the shrapnel bomb. If we can pull that off, that's going to be brilliant. Right, okay, field agent. Voltaic arc. The Gremlin shocks enemies if they move too close to Patchwork, or if Patchwork moves close to them. Chains nearby enemies. I've seen Odd use it in his playthrough. It does one damage, which is a bit rubbish. Threat recognition. Upgrades combat scanners to have one additional use per mission and grant plus 25 crit to all allies at the breach point. Awesome. Oh, that's amazing. So if you have three encounters, you can you can have combat scanners be available on two of those three encounters. That is so strong. Okay, car control. Zipper quickly darts around and attacks every nearby enemy before returning to the original position. Two turn cooldown. How cool is that? But is she going to be able to use parry? If crowd control gives her momentum, then that is incredible. If not, it's a little meh. Okay, 120 credits, 170 intel, loads of valerium. I might actually now... There we go. Field teams. And then we can go for something big like enhanced armor and have someone in here helping. Talk. Okay, so spec ops we don't need right now. We got situations. Minus two unrest, 30 credits, but let's use vigilance. Sweet. So I don't even need to do that, honestly. Minus two, 30 credits. So my other options is locate missing informant, 55 credits. Hell yes. But, in the meantime, I want to upgrade my field team. Which we can only do once we have finished that one uh, improved field teams project, which we almost have. Okay, let's do that. Unrest lowered to four, improved field teams, verge completed marksmanship. Now I can upgrade the field team. I'm checking inventory. All right. How's your gear? Still there. You are such an ass. And we need just at least 30 more one. to get a level three. Well, I'm gonna have to do another research first. If field teams upgraded to rank two, is there a field teams level three? 
Let's go straight for field teams. As much as I want enhanced armor, I want to go straight for field team 3. So I can use Dragnet. And we're only 30 intel away from being able to get that. Although, let's use Torque here to get rid of her scar. So who's the weakest here? Actually, I feel like Patchwork is kind of the weakest, just because we don't have a, we're not fighting a lot of robotic units. If we take out Claymore, Terminal, Zephyr, and Verge, I feel like that's our strongest. But then again, that means we're not getting to use the double hollow targeting, which is insanely good. Uh, raid the trafficking meat. We've got to do that, I think. What breach points do we have? A door. Okay, wall. Good. So three encounters. See, the thing is, if I bring uh, the scanning check, then I can have holo targeting up for two out of the three encounters. Which I think is superior to Verge. What abilities does Verge have? Levitation. It's not that strong. I think let's leave Verge behind. minutes okay we can do this now as well but does patchwork need to actually carry a scanning item i wonder hang on so claim all give me increased crit chance please there's a site so the way i hope this works i've got one hollow targeter for the first breach point and then I can use Patchwork's ability combat scanners for the other two reach points. And I don't have to... She can carry the key card. I don't think she has to carry an actual scanner. Anything that I can give to this thing? No, but I shouldn't need, shouldn't need to. Uh, what should I... I think I should just build armor, maybe. Or stock just for guaranteed damage. We can get a sweet deal on combat grade androids. I know. Everyone hates them. I don't hate them. They're robot friends who can fill in on missions if we're too wounded to continue. Okay, everyone but Patchwork hates them. As she says, they do have a purpose. Uh, scope for increased aim is probably good. Uh, we can buy two scopes. Key card and breaching charge we have, ceasefire we've got. I feel like the flashbang is the major thing of importance so that if someone gets mind controlled you can flashbang flashbang the dominator. But so far we've been pretty good at making sure the dominators go down quick. Holo scanner we've got. Um, I could just put scopes on the assault. Submachine guns, just or stocks, just for guaranteed damage. You know, what's more important, increased accuracy or guaranteed damage, or armor? I think armor. Just the padding. the vent breach point not useful, not useful for us now but that could definitely be useful in the future what's better the dodge or the extra hit points I think dodge so we're giving 50 dodge to just about everybody Except for Patchwork, who has the extra hit point. Okay, Operation Lanky Worm. Let's raid trafficking meat in downtown. Very difficult. Healing. How are we for healing? We've got Patchwork, who's got two breach healings. And we've got a regular med kit. What am I not using here? A utility item. 
Can we produce another utility item, maybe? Flashbang, without question. Especially because he gets multiple uses of it. It refreshes at each encounter. Or at least once. Sweet. Okay. Operation Lanky Worm. Zephyr, Claymore, Terminal, Patchwork, and Hammer. Let's roll. Our gear is starting to stack up now. Starting to feel confident. I'm sure nothing terrible is going to happen on this mission. An employee at this chemical plant sells information to Grey Phoenix. Lucky for us, our mystery VIP set up a meet. Get inside and shut it down. Sure thing. Okay, we've got, looks like one aggressive person. It's, I don't know if this is supposed to be showing here. One canister we can shoot. Uh, last unit through will be rooted for one round. So then, who is least concerned about getting rooted? Probably patchwork. Uh, hello, scanner. Patchwork. Who's gonna fire? Entering. Throwing grenade. All right. So who's aggressive? Two aggressive units. An aggressive adder and an aggressive python. I think four to six, 66% 6 chance to kill if it hits. Minimum damage, again. Fearless advance, doesn't really help against the aggressive targets. I'm gonna try against the Paladin, I think. What else is there? There's a Faceless. No, the Dominator, it's gotta be the Dominator. Put damage on the Dominator as soon as we can. Uh, and now I can try f finish off the adder or shoot at the python. Let's try finish off the adder. The three to five with a crit chance. Adder would need to hit and would need to crit. But there's no chance to crit, so the python's going to get a shot off, unfortunately. I could shoot the Dominator, but that's only plus three damage from Zephyr. So maybe the Faceless, the Legionnaire. We'll start softening up the Paladin, I think. Dodge, good. That's the Weave doing its work. We have four damage this time, so it doesn't sort of static three damage. Okay, team, here we go. We've got three encounters to get through. Lots of barrels we can shoot. Uh, oh, that we got to do. Surely we got to do that. But that's going to explode if I hit it with a grenade. Explosive out. Dominator. If it attacks, I hope that's going to proc her attack. Because the sticky grenade is the other tempting option. Then the Legionnaire is going to move away, so no. I can't lose this chance here to get the extra damage. So we should take, f we should get four damage from the Claymore, plus extra damage from the canisters. Onto the Legionnaire. Four, three... One. Oh, one hit point away. Uh, that should have killed the Legionnaire. That really should have killed the Legionnaire. So they do regen, and it looks like it's close enough to get an attack off. I can't look. Oh. Dodge.
dodge. That weave is insanely good. Damn, I feel like I have to use team up. Just to get Claymore out of this shitty position. Because otherwise the Python is going to tongue him and bind him, which I, I can't have. Three to five... Who's wounded? I really want to finish the Dominator off, but I kind of can't. Who's going to finish off the Dominator? Probably Patchwork. Going to have to. Let's go here and shoot the Legionnaire. Uh, shoot the Python from flank. And then team up. Nasty situation. So Claymore can once he th he can maybe back himself to get the crit on that Python because this is sixty nine. This is so risky to do this, but if it hits, it kills the Paladin, which is awesome. You guys know my style. Big risk, big reward. Big negative consequences also if it fails. Or I could try the faceless. The faceless though we can take out with Zephyr or with Patchwork. Gone then. Oh, one hit point! Grazed! It's some poison rounds or something. So the Python is irritating, but it's not that bad, really. Who's the true threat here? The Dominator is the true threat. Where's Patchwork? Patchwork is rooted, so she probably can't kill the Dominator. So I think I have to... Oh, fuck. I think... Does this end the turn? It does. It's Flashbang. Well, good to know that I have the flashbang, of course, because the flashbang... Oh, I can hit these two. This is a free action, so I can still blue move and flashbang these two. I'm just going to have to tank a shot from the paladin, unfortunately. Shifting my position. Don't be a target. Now, normally I'd want to hang on to the flashbang to flashbang the dominator, but he's only got one hit Throwing point. Throwing a flashbang. Quick, while they're distracted. Come on, give me a max damage or a crit yet. Clutch. Ooh, you know you did. And then I can zap the paladin. Any chance I can hit the dominator? No. Baseless. Zephyr can maybe take care of. Who's more dangerous? The Paladin or the Flashbang Legionnaire? That's like a pretty obvious answer, I think. That Legionnaire does have an unobstructed shot, though. Our healer. That's annoying, but Zephyr should be able to punch the Dominator to death and we get Claymore back. This attack must just miss now. Oh, that's a flank. Ow! Crit. That's unlucky because it hit even though it was flashbanged and the weave didn't proc. We gotta try that. That is so cool. Close. Primarily because it's gonna tell us whether or not it actually procs momentum and allows us to move again. <laughs> cool is Zephyr! How amazing is Zephyr? The coolest. 
Okay, so that answers our question though. Because so far. It seems to be done. I need five. How much damage does a sticky grenade do? But also, you don't know where it's going to move to and how much damage it's going to do. I don't have enough explosive damage. But we have a weapon that just needs to do five damage. Just don't roll minimum damage. <sighs> Poisoned, irritatingly. On the run. Here for the poison. I need to reload. Modern sounds like you had fun. Uh, here we are gonna let Patchwork finish off the faceless, and Claymore will get his poison healed fire. by Zephyr. Move fast, stay low. Uh, I could have sworn that I had a med kit. Okay, terminal can do it again, I think. <laughs> Don't do that. You will get poison, so don't do that. Who's carrying out a net kit? Maybe it's patchwork. It'll be fine. Thanks for the assist. That's right, Patrick's carrying it, thank you. Well anyway, so we'll be going into the next um, encounter now. She can use her one ability that will heal everybody by plus two, so it'll top up. Look, three out of the four are missing one hit point, so that's kind of perfect. And trank rounds. <laughs> Like this chemical plant is more about experimental batches than mass production. It tracks. Grey Phoenix wants Illyrium. This place may have found a way to refine it. Patrick, I can't quite place her accent. It's almost Irish. All units get 25 defense for one turn. Awesome. Okay, so I really like having Claymore be the first in with his big shotgun. And Zephyr. Fearless Advance, it's fine. Then Patchwork is going to use Combat Scanner. And Terminal is going to use uh, everyone for two hit points. Refresh. Moving in. Now, even though we've used Refresh and Scan, I want to make sure they still get to shoot before they go in. I'm pretty sure it works that way. Patchwork is so strong. She's really so strong. Okay, aggressive Legionnaire has to die. Aggressive adder has to die. 80% chance to hit some crit. Five, oh, that's our best chance. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. The fearless advance needs to go on. The paladin, I think. can't disable either of the two aggressive targets so that legionnaire is going to get a shot hopefully between patchwork and uh, the healer check we can maybe both hit the adder and kill it well done who am I charging at the paladin I think I want to do some damage onto the faceless but two of that's going to get healed Let's soften up the Legionnaire, you never know, it might crit. It does, but there was like minimum damage. 
dodge. God, I'm telling you, that armor that gives us 50 dodge. That's amazing. I, I can see that getting patched lower in a in, in a in a following patch. Okay, we got a dominator at the back. A wounded legionnaire and a dominator. Is there any way that I can kill that dominator this turn? Ooh, don't do that. Oh, that's such a pity now that Zephyr is there. Okay, well, flashbang just to stop the Dominator from doing his fucking mind control bullshit. If that's how it works. Or we can flashbang both. And we've got to stop the mind control. Well, give me a talent that gives me increased AOE on flashbangs. Checking your flash. Another way to knock heads. <sighs> this is now where Claymore is is absolutely worth it. Man, he's doing well. Let's try to blow up both of these faceless. That legionnaire he is one square away from Zephyr. The sticky grenade end the turn. It doesn't look like it does. Fuck the Ruining dominator. The hostiles day. Please tell me I can still shoot. Okay, ends his turn, not surprisingly. I didn't say they ends the turn. <sighs> Running up on Claymore, okay. Five damage, ow. Awesome. Oh no, preparation. Oh no, oh, card control is up. I'm gonna zap the Dominator. Let's take out the Paladin and the Faceless. The problem is though, you don't have control over where you're going to end your turn. So I'm guessing where the little blue... Oh, the square that you selected on is where you're going to end your turn. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. She's so good. Oh, but now she gets attacked and those canisters are going to explode. Lockdown, I didn't think of that. <sighs> what happened? It missed. <laughs> the claim walk and shotgun the need to do. Oh, I need to zap the dominator. Snake tongue someone, but that isn't too tough to deal with normally. And this will answer whether okay, lockdown does proc when getting tongue. That's good to know. Okay, so I'm gonna move up here and shoot that snake. Into the action. Seventy-one percent take the 100% then. It's only 50% chance to kill, but at least it's guaranteed to hit. Wait, doesn't she have a stock on that weapon? No. Damn, so we just have to hope that the subdue kills it. Stay down. Such a small detail, but I love how in the animations of the movement, all, all, all of your operatives are, are using uh, target discipline. Like actually, because like in the old, in, in, in the old XCOM, your soldiers would run swinging their weapons like this, but now they're all like moving and like trailing. Very cool. The 
The thing is, I want to. I don't want to kill it though. I want to give Terminal a chance to heal. How do I do that? One, two, three, four. I can't without having it. Hmm. Never mind. I gotta get the fucking Clear a path. objective. Almost forgot about the objective. Open. That would have been a classic Stobby move. Let's kind of take anyone. Pathing might save us here. Nope. Missed! Is that two misses in a row? Whew. Engagement, and I've still got some pretty nice breach tactics that we can use. Missed. Smashing extremity. Look at the Zephyr. She's far and away the strongest out of all my troops. Like it's not even close. Actually, but for Our the final VIP breach now. Ready to wrap it. Gray Phoenix is prepping a defense. Don't worry, I'm faster. Yeah, you are, love. My favorite Aussie gal. All units get dodged for one round. First unit gets plus three damage during the breach. Okay, well good, that's gonna be Claymore then, who will prep the explosive. All units get 50 dodge for one round. First unit through, okay, so everyone else then goes to the keypad door. Combat scanner. Not valid for units breach slot. What? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so you can't use mini patch if you first through. Opening a side door. So all the missions up till now have been super rough, but now finally things are, it feels like things are starting to click for us. We can apply hollow target to everybody before we get in the room. We can heal everybody before we get in. Bloody fantastic. So one thing to think about here is the fact that there's four aggressive enemies. A python, a dominator, an adder, and a legionnaire. So at a certain point, we're going to be in situations where we will be better off having everyone run straight to cover because you have to run into so much aggressive fire. I don't think we're there yet, though. Finally, he doesn't roll minimum damage. Okay, I want you to rush at the python. That's three or four damage there, pretty much guaranteed. And then we're going to try to do as much damage onto this Dominator as possible. Nice big crit. So we're going to get shot by two aggressive enemies. Oof. Missed! Dodged. And a crit. Awesome! VIP so, heading for an exit. Capture if you can. Which one is the suspect? It's that one. Legion okay. up next. Then Praetorian. Holy shit. The fuck is that? Flashbang that shit. It's a pretty much sticky grenade is on lockdown.
That is fucking scary. That's a panda nut. I might actually want to leave the panda alive because if it mind melts, I can kill it on the f on the following turn and get a double kill. Zephyr is probably gonna have to kill that python to stop it from. Throwing a flashbang. This should shoot some armor as well. Did all the damage apply properly? I don't know. Oh, come on. Wounded, flashbanged, at range. Still hits. I don't know what that is, but it's fucking scary. Ow. Duel, what does duel mean? Cease fire on these two. I think that's fine because he Claymore can use his well, his Claymore. And then we can attack this snake and then go to cover. Grenade Perfect. out. Sucks that I have to kill the Python, but I will. So, which Paladin goes next? That one. Then... Far one. So the question is, am I better off going to... Cover? There's only half cover available. I think I'm probably better off parrying. But I hope Claymore can use his his shrapnel and his sticky bomb. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna go next to Patchwork, which is a risk that I get hit by this Dominator. But Patchwork can medicate heal. You'll be okay. How much damage is that gonna do? Leave them out in the open as well. Three to five would need to crit. Stunning jolt. I could make sure that I take out the legionnaire. That could be pretty good. So I don't know what the paladin's gonna do. The paladin pro probably can't kill anyone. I mean, there's five damage there on the claim. I just want to see what kind of damage this does compared to Chain Jolt. And that looks like Acid, so... One damage. Mind meld. Oof. But then that does four damage. Ugh. Good. You're still breathing. Uh, sake. That ain't the turn. That's a tough lesson to learn, so at least we know that those little acid grenades, acid canisters only do one damage, whereas the fire ones do a hell of a lot more. Safeguard, no, I've got to just take some shots on this fucking thing. We 
Except the mercenary's fleeing. One thing I heard Odd talk about, which has proven to be totally true, is that you... Just like in Magic the Gathering, you need to think of your uh, hit points as a resource, and you've got to be willing to spend. Re uh, you've got to be willing to spend hit points. It seems. Thinning the crowd. <laughs> Wait, did it miss? Oh, weapon unaffected. What? Okay, so luckily the VIP is coming towards us trying to flee. That paladin has got to get zapped, I reckon. Or just straight up shot. Subdued. Arrested another target. Damn. It's, it's, it's a typical XCOM story, eh? X, um, half cover don't mean shit. Let the high tech spray do its work. I do hope at later levels one of my troops can unlock a uh, wake an unconscious person up skill. That's pretty important. That should be okay for Zephyr. Looking at my squad composition, I, I desperately am light on damage. Zephyr is like my only real damage dealer. Claymore does a nice bit of damage as well. But I wish I had more. Target is under arrest. It's just like the power level between Zephyr and everybody else is so, so, moving. so different. Like it's insane how much more powerful Zephyr is. Need a little help? Good. That's good. Stunned for two. Nice. I will say that big lad was terrifying. The Praetorian. Oof. Claymore gravely wounded. Um. One thing I hope they add to the game is to give you the ability between encounters to choose to leave some of your soldiers behind and take your androids out instead. I also, I imagine it'll get modded in, but I mean, like, to be able to have androids start in your lineup. Because eventually, you know, then you can do a challenge where you just send androids. Okay, so credits, intel, extra intel, and Illyrium, awesome. From the archives, Lee. I work in a vertical farm, making pulp from some of the few plant sectoids can eat. It's a big change. The skills you learned in the resistance don't always apply. What's the expression? When all you have is a hammer, everything gets a nail. What was your hammer? <laughs> Grenade launcher. Nice work. City 31's alien population is safe from Grey Phoenix abductions. Okay, now we've got to choose between two dark events. To track personnel movement, we know Grey Phoenix can quickly move personnel through City 31. Once you learn how, we'll know how to wall them off. Grey Phoenix has the supplies to arm and equip Praetorians. As you've experienced, Grey Phoenix is surprisingly coordinated and disciplined. Discover what keeps them bound together. Grey Phoenix has the funding to hire more mercenary muscle. So the Praetorians are fucking terrifying. But I don't know what the mercenaries are, so let's take out their leadership. 
No, wait, that's wrong. I chose the wrong fucking one. Looks like we're fighting Praetorians. <laughs> Hell. Well, gotta make it more exciting right, for you lads. Oh, we've got two you scores. This bonded stare crap. Whoever's behind it knows their way around Advent propaganda. They say don't talk, don't think, but let me tell you how the world is. That's your first clue. The oh, corporation's amazing. Never your friend. The nearby unimpaired allied to grant them an immediate bonus action. Corporation has a three turn cooldown. I hope that doesn't end her turn though. Like, I want to be using my androids, and you know, there's projects to upgrade them, but like, why would you? As you've there's, experienced, there's, like, Grey no Phoenix is surprisingly coordinated and disciplined. Discover what keeps them bound together. Uh, nine days, we can't do that yet. Looks like we are well on top of City Anarchy, I mean, with major crimes and freeze target unrest. Uh, we want to be able to have field teams three. Okay, so two more days, that'll be handled. Scar being removed. So what scars did we pick up here now? Shell shocked. Lowered will. Aim reduced. Oh, that is devastating. Well, we'll just do not a mission, a situation. Okay. Illyrium, it feels like we have plenty. Let's just take this for the extra intel. Grey Phoenix follows a pair of leaders, both mutons. Custodian Zell handles their technical interests. We know more about crew chief Yarvo, who directs their martial pursuits. Zell and Yarvo are unknown quantities. It isn't clear who caused the shots between them. Hmm. Interesting. The former head of engineers, Custodian Zell, devised technical plans. Crew Chief Yarvo directed their forces. No record of either name in post war detention center logs. But so. Right. So last time I'm going to remove Claymore because his. Radio is never your friend. What about me? Good old Floyd never steered you wrong. Are we pals? Hmm? Am I your friend? Of course not. You don't know me. You don't know what I want from you. I say I want you to think for yourself. What if I want to make you feel like you already do? Know why someone wants you to think, and you'll know what they want you to Scope. think. Intel. I don't feel like I need the intel desperately. This increases the time that I can go take on that. What do we get here? Shrike mercenaries. Unrest in the stacks. Two days toward reveal. I, f I, I definitely want... What's his name? Uh, Claymore back for that mission. Okay, so when we come back, we'll be do this mission here. Tech support. Lowers the unrest a bit and gets us a scope. Oh, those Praetorians are fucking nasty. Holy shit. At least at the end of the next day, we'll have expert field teams. Wait, the one we're researching, is that level 2 or level 3 field teams? Oh, that one's already level 2. Okay, sweet. So in one more day, we'll have our first level 3 field team and we can start using Dragnet. Gain extra situation rewards. Next to the spoiler modern. Uh, this is definitely worth using now on the intel. Oh, a reflex grip to allow us to shoot twice. But that's 80 intel though. We're going to need 120. Standard shot does not automatically end the turn. Who is that actually going to be any good on? Like, who wants to stand still and shoot? Not really anyone. That feels kind of situational, because Patrick wants to be shocking every turn. 
Talk wants to be bonding. Zephyr is running around punching mofos. Turn the law. Clip size not really important. Aim increase by 10 could be pretty good. Like, I want both. I want to use these in conjunction. Let's just pick up the refix clip now while we can. In fact, what rewards are we getting? Are we getting... But I'm going to need how much to go to level 3? 120. I, I just need to get the 20 intel. So that means then that I should probably buy the advanced scope. So then when we have someone who has an assault rifle and def decent accuracy, I can basically turn them into a ranger. And they can just shoot twice with an assault rifle. <sighs> Like, think of the synergy now if you have the guy who has the swapity swap and you give that scope plus reflex grip to a shotgun and then you run forward next to the enemy, swap with the guy with the shotgun and he gets to shoot twice with the shotgun. That sounds like a little bit too much work to get that done. Okay. It's Monday. When we come back, let's go take on tech support here. Gives us another scope. Sweet. Okay. Uh, all in all, I'm super unhappy with how my guys keep getting wounded. I mean, at this point, I'm wishing I could restart the campaign and, you know, stop people getting wounded because the training center has been, from day one, has had someone getting their scars removed and we still got more scars. I haven't been able to complete basic conditioning or unlock potential on any, on anyone, just because I'm having to remove scars the whole time. It makes me wish that I had started with Cherub so I could mitigate more damage and, you know, stop stop damage like the snake is you know entertaining but not that useful well a lesson for next time okay friends thanks for watching i'm still going for nine when we come back we're going to be heading out to do what's this mission called laser darkness so we can breach through a wall or through a door unfortunately our wall breach option isn't really available uh unless we make items available mark weave breaching charge Flashbang, way better than Trank Rounds. There is actually some stuff available here. Look at that Reflex Grip Stock Laser Sight. Okay, so Patchworks Assault Rifle, Advanced Scope, and Reflex Grip for shooting twice. And then these submachine guns, we've got a stock for guaranteed damage, and a laser sight. Yeah. I think the snake is more likely to be shooting from close up. Anything I can build It's particularly good. What a med kit. I've already got a med kit here. No, that's a medi patch. That's a medi kit. I want more weapon upgrades. None are available. Okay. Expanded mag, just scopes. The mini patch allows you to heal two hit points to all of your troops uh, on breach. And what's so cool now with Patchwork and Terminal, Patchwork has the scanners that she can use twice. That's only one encounter. Damn, it's another hour long episode. Okay, friends, like I said, when I come back, we'll be doing Operation and Laser Darkness. Zephyr, Terminal, Talk, and Patchwork. Hammer if we need him. I'm still one for nine. Thanks for watching. At the end of the next mission, we can start using Dragnet for extra rewards. Looking forward to it.